Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to do a quick video showing how to work with landscape or portrait movies in Blender. In other words, how can you rotate and scale video clips that were shot horizontally or vertically? So I think it's easiest just to look at an example. So in this case, I've got a video that I shot with my phone in portrait mode. So if we open this up and take a look at what it is, you'll see it's just a video of me kind of in my front yard and you'll see that it is 1080 pixels wide by 1920 pixels tall. Okay, so now let's say you want to use this portrait clip in a project. So here's a Blender project that I've set up for video editing. If you're unfamiliar with how I got to this point, please check out our other video that covers getting started with Blender for video editing. You can get to it by just clicking on that card that just appeared in the upper right of the screen. Now, the settings that I want to call to your attention is that I've set this up as a standard HD landscape format of 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels tall. Now, I've already got one clip in this project, so this is just a clip of my dog rolling around on the floor. Um, I actually just gave him a bath and he really hates it. Now, this was filmed in landscape mode, so it already fits the desired resolution of 1920 by 1080 perfectly. Now, suppose at the end of this, I want to transition to the portrait clip showing my front yard. So to do that, we'll just do our standard Add Movie, and I'll select the portrait clip and I'll hit add to movie strip. Blender imports it, but you notice that it actually, uh, it, it's, it's rotated by 90 degrees. It's not exactly where we want it to be. So to fix that, let's do a couple of things. First off, I'm going to go ahead and build some proxies of this newly imported uh, clip just so it will um, uh, run smoothly in the scrubber. So I'm going to go rebuild those proxies. And while it's rebuilding, all we need to do is we just need to rotate this by 90 degrees. So to do that, it's actually really simple. I'll go ahead and s click and select the video channel. Go ahead and say add effect strip transform. And now I'll make sure that the transform is selected. So I'll click on it. I'll come over here to the properties and I'll click on the strip tab. And if you scroll down, you see there's a channel here for rotation. So if you just go ahead and start moving this number around, you see that we basically can rotate the clip however we like. So in this case, it looks like we need to rotate this by, by minus 90 degrees. So I'll go ahead and just type that in, minus 90, and boom, there you have it. Now, you notice, though, that even though now the orientation is correct, the scaling is off. All right, so to better understand this scaling, let's take a look at what we did. So we started out with clip A. So clip A, it had uh, a width and it had a height. Let's call that WA and HA respectively. So with that clip, what we then wanted to do is we then had uh, clip B, which is effectively the blended rendered video uh, environment. So in this case, we had a different width, let's call that WB, and a different height, let's call that HB. And now what we're trying to do is, since the width and the heights are not the same, we were trying to take clip A and move it effectively into the blended environment. As we see right now, the scaling is wrong. We basically need to shrink clip A to make it fit exactly within the height of clip B, which is again the Blender project. So if you look at this long enough, you'll, I think you'll see that the scaling factor that we need to apply to clip A is basically the ratio of the height. So it's HB divided by HA. So again, if we look at actual dimensions of our two clips, so we saw that Clip A had a width of 1080 and a height of 1920, and in Clip B it was exactly reversed. It was a width of 1920 by a height of 1080, so therefore our scaling factor is actually 1080 divided by 1920, or about 56%. All right, so armed with that information, let's come back to the transform. And down here where we were messing with the rotation earlier, let's come up here and start messing with the scaling. So I can either independently change the X scale or the Y scale, or if I want to maintain the same aspect ratio, I'll go ahead and click on this checkbox for uniform scale, and now I'll mess with both of them at the same time. So we saw that the scaling factor we need to apply was 0.5625, or I can just type in here, 1080 divided by 1920, hit enter, and there we go. We see that the video now is rendered at the exact uh, size so that the height of clip A exactly fits the height of clip B. So this looks great. Um, now, if we let this run, you'll notice, though, this will play, and if we were to render it like this, the these areas to the left and the right are just going to show up as boring black pixels. So you can definitely leave it that way if you want, but let me show you a better way to make this more interesting. Let me jump to the front of this clip.
And I'm going to go ahead and now just uh, come to my folder, and I've prepared ahead of time a background image that I would like to apply to my portrait uh, clip. So this background image, again, it's just a normal file, and it is uh, of size, yeah, 1920 by 1080. So that looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that at this point. So I'll just come up here to Add Image Sequence, and I'll select my background and hit Add to Image Strip. And here it is. Uh, it's not displayed for very long, so let me let me stretch this out a little bit longer. So I'll click on this, uh, press the G key to grab just the right side of it, and I'll drag it to make it a little bit longer. Okay, there we go. So the background shows up. Uh, now that I've imported this, maybe the first thing I should do is let me make a proxy uh, for this one image. Because if I hit play right now, it's going to try to chunk through and display this background image, which is a HD 1920 by 1080 picture at 30 frames a second, and it might slow down. So you may need to come over here, depending on your machine, click on the proxy tab while you have the background selected, uh, check the strip and proxy time codes, and build a proxy for this image, just like you would build a proxy for a video clip. Okay, so now that I've got the proxy built, the next thing I want to do is I need to move this background to a channel number which is lower than the channel number of the video so that it displays behind it. So to do that, I'm just going to click on the background. I'll press the G key to grab it, and I'm going to move it down here to channel 1. I'm going to try to line these up like such. There we go. So now, if we were to scroll here, there, that looks awesome now, right? So now, oopsie, sorry, I'm playing backwards. <laughs> sorry. So now you can see that we've got the nice video with an interesting background on the side to keep your viewers interested. Uh, let's close this gap here. So maybe what I'll do is I'll select, I'll hold shift, I'll select multiple of these. I'll press the G key to move all of them and I'll back them up and then drop them on top of each other and Blender will snap it so that the two of them line up. So now what we've got is we've got a nice smooth transition here coming from uh, our landscape dog video to our portrait uh, video like such. So another way we could also work with this portrait uh, video clip is we could do a very similar operation in the sense that we take clip A, which is a portrait, and we, again, we move it into clip B, which is our landscape video. But now instead of shrinking it to make the height match, we could actually expand or grow clip A so that the width matches. Now in this case, you can kind of see um, you're going to lose a lot of the action of what's going on in your scene. So you may need to reposition. So so for example, in this case, if I wanted to get the fire pit and the chair in frame, I might need to shift the video up vertically. Now, in this case, we see that there's a couple of operations we need to do. One is we need to compute the scaling factor again, and I think you'll also agree that in this case, the scaling factor in this case is now it's actually WB divided by WA, or in our case, it's 1920 divided by 1080, so we need to actually apply a scaling factor greater than 1, or 1.778 to our video. All right, so to uh, make it larger, why don't I go ahead and let me cut the, the video right here. So I'll uh, select the video, I'll press the K to cut it, and now what we can do is let's apply a, a second rotation and translation to this second half of the clip so that it will fill the screen. So what I mean by that is let's do the exact same thing we did earlier. So I'll click on the second trans uh, s clip, Right, which is really clip A, which is now split into two. And I'll go ahead and add, again, I'll add my effects transform. And let's go ahead and make the rotation angle minus 90 degrees. And now, instead of shrinking this to 0 0.5625 to make the height uh, fit, I want to expand and grow this thing to the appropriate dimension. So again, I think we said that was what? It was 1920 divided by 1080. Enter. So yeah, 1.778. And you can see in that case, now clip A has expanded to fill the entire landscape. So again, we're going to probably need to mess with the, uh, the the position. So again, you can do that with position X and position Y. You don't want to mess with position X, right? Because we've filled clip A to be the exact size to just barely match the size of the screen. So if you move position X to one side, you'll see we're going to start getting that background showing up in the back. So let's leave position X at 0. Zero, but there are a lot of pixels to work with in the vertical direction so feel free to maneuver and mess with the the y dimension until you get what you want in the scene so there you have it so now you can kind of see we start with our native 
uh, landscape dog video, we then transition over to a uh, land uh, a portrait mode video, which we have now shrunk to make the height match. And then we're right here, we transition and fill the screen with that same portrait uh, image. So, uh, this uh, is probably a good spot. Let's go ahead, uh, I'll add maybe a soundtrack and let's render this movie just so we can see what the final product looks like. All right, so that movie isn't going to be winning any Oscars, but I think you get the point. Uh, so to improve the video, it might be nice to add some transitions between some of these scenes or maybe keyframe some parameters, which are actually topics we cover in other videos. So with that being said, I think this is a great place to leave it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, I also hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Surprisingly, if you just scroll down a little ways and click on that subscribe button, it really does help me continue making these videos. Also, please leave a comment and let me know if the video was helpful or if there are topics you'd like me to cover in the future. I hope to catch you at one of those future videos, so until we talk again, I think I'll sign off for now. Bye!